What's up and welcome back to the series. I hope you enjoyed part one. If you haven't seen the previous episode, make sure you give that a look. If you're jumping through some of these videos, make sure you also check the timestamps. Let's go ahead and get right back into learning about Yuya Fan. And uh, yeah. This is where you find things like landscape, foliage, modeling, animations. I don't even use these two. I'm gonna be so real with you. I use foliage sometimes. I will put a tree in there and I'll just foliage it so I don't have to actually place a tree to tree. You have to basically import a tree. Fab is fab. You can go to fab. This is where you see a lot of people who have these different feeling like play spaces that isn't Fortnite. They just go to fab, you buy it, it goes straight to your island. These are basically paid prefabs. You can buy one of these. You can see if there's anything for free. You'll probably find that a lot of these UEFN maps are using a lot of these. Where did they get it from? They got it from here. Here you can do that. Free prefabs you can use. Add to content drawer. You're downloading reference content. My reference content. I feel like in this whole section, modeling and landscape are two important ones. But let's talk about landscape first. It brings you to like a whole different kind of part of your editor. You could use this. You have the ability to use different chapters. My landscape. Chapter two, you're able to use. Chapter four, chapter four jungle. You get different paint tools depending on what chapter you're using. I don't know why they do this now, but they don't come auto assigned. So you have to assign them yourself. For whatever tool you use, you hit the plus button, go to non-weight, you just save it. It's just gonna pop up, I don't know. Now have the paint tools you need. But before we do that, we have to place down this. You're able to move this up, down, right here at the bottom. If you want this to be a 10, 10 space, so you can make it a lot bigger. I have never pushed it to the max. I'm scared to even, oh my gosh. Yeah, no, that will probably crash your PC. I think the biggest island I've made is a 15 by 15. And then you're able to either fill the world, which will fill up everything around, or you can create this. I don't know the difference between both of these. This one will literally fill it past, but you only can use the play space. And then this creates just the one you just like show, like the grid that you're making. So I would create that. I might have crashed here. Oh, hopeful things within the landscape. Management, let's start there. Say if you have it too big, you could always go through here and delete certain segments. You can hold and like, like drag and do stuff like that. These look small right now, but like, in the editor, you forget the scale compared to the player. You can always add another landscape. If you see an island with multiple biomes, they do this and they would change the, the landscape. Create. We're pushing my PC's boundaries right now. You have both biomes in one area. You can always add onto it. So you see that grid. Now we have a new added section. Sculpting. Now this is the fun part. This is something you have to test out as you go, but figure out the strength of the t of the brush, the size of the brush, the fall off. It builds differently. This is fun. I really enjoy doing the landscape tool. Erasing, you can erase. You can smooth out some of the landscape. So it's not like you're erasing it, but you're more so just smooth it into hills or you smooth it out. Flatten, you wanna click and drag basically, but wherever you start to click is what's gonna flatten out too. So this flat area, we're flattening to that. Or this tile area, we're going to flatten to that noise is super weird it's like rocky visibility we're able to use visibility to cut through it and then you have to build out a nice looking entrance and actually this is a good time to go over that zone i was talking about it says zone the underground volume this is where you would need this in game you can walk through here I mean, you can always expand it like that, or you can actually the better way is to expand it with this. You're able to actually walk in there and shoot in there. Without it, you can walk in there, but you can't shoot in there. Uh, let's go back to the landscape tool. Paint. Now this is the part that looks really cool. With the paint tools, you're able to paint different things. The size of the brush, the paint, fall off. You're able to paint with different different uh, brushes. Use these to figure out what what's helpful, what looks good. It might take a second to load. And there's different brushes in different landscapes. The chapter four one has different one than chapter two. These all have such different um, uses. You can make the whole island one of these colors if you really want to. Control click and shift click are very important in UEFN. Whatever layer you have, you can always shift click and remove it, like almost like cleaning it up a little bit. You can clear off the paint, clear the paint out of certain areas right there. This is the road paint. Like I said, you can clean a lot of this stuff up. Within the paints, you can always smooth out. Here, let me make sure I'm on the right one. So like smooth that layer, blend these using the smoothing tool. Also, although with the paintbrush, mess with the different brushes. 
You make like a Clash of Clans type of effect on that. With that whole area to be um, that, you can literally hold. You have to hold and, and click it. Straight into UEFN, this will be where I start. Here, let me do this real quick. Landscape, we're going to sculpt downwards. Shift click to go the opposite way. Build up, or you can shift click to go to the reverse. But what we're gonna do is we're going to flatten this. And you'll see why in a second. Let's talk about the water and where to find the ocean. So go into your content drawer, click all. This is just the fast way I find it. Go to blueprint class, and then I would type in water. These are the different types of water that you have at your disposal. You don't even need to use the filter really, but that's just helpful. You can type in ocean. You have to just scroll down to find it. River, pool, this is just like a square, a square water. Uh, river is a spline complete loaded in while working with splines and water these kind of go hand in hand with landscape if you need to work with any type of splines you will probably be in the landscape mode to do so when you go into your landscape you'll see the water layer you're able to turn it and these do affect landscape there's the lake you know there you go on the details you can change up how deep you want it the important water type is the ocean takes a second to load in there we go we have water one thing with this right here it says affects landscape turn that off with all the landscape you just did doesn't get affected when you move the water say if we wanted to make a underground tunnel that goes underneath the water landscape visibility zones volumes fort body water exclusion zone so right here let's widen this zone up how you would build something underneath the water this is the zone so you can make it playable another thing in landscape i'm not necessarily the best when it comes to splines spline layer you want to control click to add a spline click the actual road mesh road straight road and that's how you add roads to your island there's a lot of things you can work with able to Turn them using wherever you want to lead off of. You click that that in spline, and then you can control click to add to your road. You can add, you know, what I mean, you rotate these. You can make them to splits. If you rotate it enough, you'll turn back to that. It kind of adjusts. So it, that's a nice feature that it kind of adjusts for you. There you go. You can connect road pieces too by clicking the same spline i pushed changes while i was waiting I'm able to see some of the things that i placed in the editor and the actual scale of these like that river ba like base river is huge you can always make it bigger smaller the river you know you're able to swim in it looks really crazy when the water's going upstream like that we should probably flip it around or change the direction the pool i've never really seen the pool it looks like a volume almost you just have to fill up the area around it you can see the roads um the, uh, the water underground volume, which again, the, the the actual water doesn't go away. So you have to figure out a way to move that. If I go outside of that zone under here, I will start swimming. There's a lot of good information in this video. So if you made it this far, make sure you like, subscribe, and join the Discord. This series isn't over. Check out part three and I'll see you guys in there.